Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step what you need to do to qualify for an airdrop from the Avantis testnet. This is another free-to-earn airdrop that you don't have to invest any capital in, only a few minutes of your time. And actually, there is only two days left before this campaign closes. So if you want to participate in this, I recommend doing it ASAP. Now, all you airdrop farming DGENs are going so hard on these testnet or free to earn airdrops that actually we've crashed the Avantis public testnet because of a 10X increase in users and transactions over the last two days. And even though the team is saying that the NFT and the points that you earn remain purely commemorative and hold no monetary value, I don't know about you, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. And I don't even believe teams anymore when they say stuff like this, especially when airdrops like Manta reward people with hundreds or even thousands of dollars for collecting points on Galaxy campaigns. Anyways, even though the system is being a little bit glitchy right now, I'm sure the devs are gonna fix it soon and iron out the issues before the end of the campaign. So I'm still gonna walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do to finish these quests. Now the link to this Galaxy campaign page will obviously be below in the description of this video. But as you can see, only about 10,000 people have currently completed this versus if we look at the bear chain testnet airdrop campaign, there's hundreds of thousands of participants. And so even if the value of the Avantis testnet is going to be less than that of bear chain, the fact that it's so much less saturated makes it a reasonable target for airdrop hunters. So let's walk through the steps that you have to complete. For starters, just hit follow at the top here and then you'll be able to complete the first task which is an Avantis space user. Next up, we got a couple of social tasks to follow them on Twitter and retweet one thing. So that's the easy stuff out of the way. And now we actually have to complete four tasks to interact with the Avantis testnet. So we have to place a limit order trade. We have to open either a Forex or a metals trade. We have to open either an ETH or a Bitcoin market trade, and we have to trade 5K total volume on Avantis. Now, this might be partially one of the reasons why so few people have done this is that they actually haven't linked the app to any of these tasks. So you have to go and manually find the application and the website for yourself. And so that small extra hurdle might be what's making people say, I'm not gonna do it, but I'll throw the link to this down below as well to make it easier for you. So once you navigate to the Avantis application, simply hit launch app. Then we're going to need to log in with a wallet and it's going to ask you to switch the network to the base girly network. And so this is a testnet version of the base L2. So go ahead and hit switch network or if you don't already have the network added to your wallet, it will prompt you to add it once you connect your wallet. Now I already have some testnet ETH on the base girly network. However, if at this point you don't have any, you can click here at the top where it says faucet and then you can request a little bit of ETH and a little bit of USDC so that you can complete these steps. So simply click on the button and it will pop up in your wallet asking you to confirm that transaction. But there's other faucets as well where you can go to claim some testnet ETH. In the base documentation, they have a list of them. So I'll throw a link to this as well. And you can try and get as much testnet ETH as you want to then finish these steps. But once you do have some testnet tokens, then we're ready to actually go ahead and complete the steps for these quests. So for starters, we need to place a limit order for any asset of your choice. So on the trade page here, you can decide whether you want to go long or short. And here where it says order type, you're going to want to select limit. Then you need to select the target price. And if you're doing a limit order on a long trade, usually you would set the price below what it currently is because you're waiting for a price to hit a target before you snap up some ETH. However, in this case, we don't really care because we're just trying to complete the steps. So let's just try and set the price to as close as it currently is so that this order actually goes through. So I'll set the limit order price to 2533 and then you can select how much you want to use as collateral and how much you want to use as leverage and again since this is testnet tokens with zero actual monetary value might as well just ramp the leverage up to the max oh actually here look it's saying that the limit price is too high so it won't even let you place a limit order for a long trade if your execution price is above the current price so you have to select a price that is at least marginally lower than it currently is then we can ramp up the leverage to the max, hit approve and confirm this transaction here. Okay, that transaction was successful. So now I'm gonna to move to the next item on the list, which is to open a Forex or a metals market trade. So here back on the Avantis application, where it says all markets, you're gonna to wanna to hit here, click on Forex or commodities. So let's just go Forex. 
and let's open a trade say on the US dollar and the Japanese yen. Now it doesn't specify any amount so you can trade any amount that you want and again you can go long or short. So this time I'm just going to do a market order. Let's ramp up the collateral this time to 20 and do 100x leverage. Then go ahead and hit approve and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And the more leverage that you use for these testnet token transactions actually it will be faster for you to hit your total trading volume cap, which is $5,000. The third item on our list is to open either an ETH or a BTC market trade. So back to the application. Let's go back to crypto assets. Okay, this time let's select Bitcoin. And instead of doing a limit order where you have to do a market order, and then we can select the amount of collateral and the amount of leverage. This time let's use $40 USDC as collateral and maximum leverage and then approve the transaction. After that, the final thing we need to do on the application is just make sure that we trade 5K in total volume. So you can just mash buttons until you hit that. You can go back to the faucet actually every minute or two and request additional USDC. And then if you open up a position with 100X leverage, you can pretty easily hit that total amount. So this one trade right here has a total position size of over 20,000. And then you just hit confirm and then yet another testnet transaction in the books. Now currently according to Avantis they're experiencing a large surge in activity so you might need to wait a couple of minutes or even a couple of hours before Galaxy actually confirms your transactions and you might have to actually try a few times and refresh the page on the actual app itself before you can successfully complete these steps. However, I'm sure the team is going to iron out the bugs pretty soon and there's still two days left to complete these tasks. And the final, final thing you have to do is there's actually a small quiz on Galaxy. So this is a four question quiz and the answers to this are A, C, A, and C. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and since it's a test net, it's only a couple minutes of your time and a $0 investment. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video.